Anaesema anaweza na yule pia ambaye anasema kwamba hawezi kama jibu wote wako sawa. Inalingana ni swali gani limeulizwa ndio maana wamejibu hivyo. Tafakari. And my deputy president from today this Margaret Wanjiro that was beaten my clothes lifted up but he, by young men who are police police security agents they touched my thighs me a woman of god i want to make a very sweet promise to you believe you me you will look for me you went for benihin in america for me you will look for me and i'm not moving and i'm not going anywhere i will be here safi karibu tena mtazamaji hapa ni Havana Media na kwa majina anaitwa Bonfiso Wino ikiwa ni mara ya kwanza ambayo tunakutana na mambo chukua sekunde yako moja maza kwa mbili uende kwa subscription area ufinye subscribe button like na ushare na kisha mambo itakuwa sawa na unaweza tuambia tu natazamu kiwa wapi na tunakufikia kwa njia gani na ni nini ambacho tunafikifanya ili wakati wote e, tukufikie kwa njia mwafaka nilikwambia kwamba e, kini chetu ama lengo letu ni kukuletea ujumbe kadri ambapo kadri yanapotukia wakati yanapotukia na yanafanyika wapi yanafanyika saa ngapi na nani anayafanya na ni pendekezo letu tu pia kujua maoni yako ni gani kwa sababu feedback is normally very important in anything that you do taarifa ambayo tunaipata sasa hivi inasema kwamba ESCC eh, Suze Pastanganga Neno Evangelism Center Church and Energy Company for occupying land allegedly belonging to Kenya Railway Corp Railways Corporation lakini hicho sio chanzo sa kuzungumza ama kuleta video hii hiyo ni baadhi hiyo ni just by the way what is happening wanasema kwamba EACC wanasema kwamba hiyo um, uh, kanisa hapo hiyo neno evangelism center hiyo iko pali ambapo ina i, ni ya watu wa railways so possibility ya kanisa ya pastanganga pia kuwa affected iko na high note lakini tunaomba Mungu tu ili eh, kanisa lake lisifikiwe ama kanisa lake lisibomolewe sawa sasa tukirudi tukirudi nyuma kwa hiki kisa chake eh, bishop eh, Margaret eh, kuna baadhi ya mambo ambayo nataka tuyazungumzie kidogo tu msikia kusema kwamba amewalaani president William Ruto pamoja na Rigathi Gashagwa lakini kuna jambo ambalo ningependa eh, tuilielewe hapa ESCC has got nothing to do with the government ECC haikuna pale ambapo wanahusiana na government. Hiyo lazima tuelewe. Now, e, ili swala la Bishop eh, Margaret Wanjiru kumlaani kuwalaani kulaani eh, eh, President Will, William Ruto pamoja na Rigathi Gachagua limeleta mambo mengi sana huku akisema kuwa eh, President William Ruto ametu, alituma vijana waje wakabomoe kanisa lake na kitu ambacho kinamuuma sana ni kwamba hao hao vijana hao mpulisi hawakujali kwa yeye ni bishop ndio wa Mungu na pia yeye ni mama na alikuwa anasema kuwa alikuwa nadhani kama ni ndo kama ni drama ni kama ni drama ni kama video ya kwamba eh, wakati mara ya kwanza alikuwa nadhani kwani naota nini Alafu baadaye ndio akakuja akagundua kumbe si kuota hiki tu hiki kitu kinafanyika e, kwa sababu anasema unasikia nikisema kwamba hao watu hao hao vijana walishika mpaka mapaja yake jambo la kusikitisha sana kwamba eh, vijana mnaenda mnashika mpaka mapaja ya mtumishi wa Mungu eh mnatoa mnamuinua mna nguo mnashika mapaja yake kio kiko kitu kiko kitu kinamuuma eh, kinauma sana kwamba eh, unashika mapaja ya mtumishi wa Mungu now let me tell you something my president and my deputy president from today this Margaret Wanjiro that was beaten my clothes lifted up but he, by young men who are police police security agents they touched my thighs me a woman of god lakini sio hapo peke yake ameendelea kusema kwamba eh, licha ya president William, William Ruto eh, kwenda kumtafuta Beni kwenda kutafuta Benin pamoja na mkewe kwenda kumtafuta Benin kule upande wa US ili wa, ili aje akakomboe aka nchi ya Kenya itabidi president William Ruto pamoja na Rigathi Gachagua na wale ambao wako kwenye uongozi wakamtafute naye hakuna kupali popote ambapo wanaenda yuko hapa nchini Kenya na aondoki abinduki apinduki kabisa abinduki kabisa watamtafuta itabidi wakamtafute yani in short amewekelaana Kiza. So what are we dealing with here? We are dealing with land grabbers that have been supported from very high powers. Very high powers that they have become untouchable. 
very high powers that as they are there they can tell you you are fighting government and you should stop fighting government so i want to say to our government and to his excellency our president william ruto and to our deputy president rigathi gashagwa we loved you we voted for you we supported you you have rewarded us with broken legs broken arms hurting bodies you truly 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 have rewarded us with evil a week ago we shared the pulpit in nyayo stadium repenting as the body of christ because of sins that were committed to our very dear friend good minister and a father in the gospel benhin we did very well but behold after benhin forgave or whoever else forgave us is this the revival we were expecting land grabbing by government officials in front of the eyes of government how many screams does bishop margaret wanjiro has to make for any one of you to respond and rescue us is this how you reward our work and our hard labor for this government why did we bring in benhin and i was part of the organizing team we brought him in because we felt that forgiveness we will remove the cloud of darkness and remove the curse that have been hovering around this country i want to make a very sweet promise to you believe you me you will look for me you went for benhin in america for me you will look for me and i'm not moving and i'm not going anywhere i will be here you have started a fight that you cannot fight this one is in the heavenlies we have lived with this community parking all these years we have never fought you are using the md railways i pity his family because as i cried yesterday and today even his family plus yours are not exempted my tears will pay we are hurting we are bleeding but behold isaiah 61 anointing stands jehovah god healed the broken hearted we are disappointed with the kenya kwanza government extremely disappointed i was one of the founding members of uda i campaigned two years straight when others came to just steal what i had worked for yet i let go i've loved you my president i've loved you my deputy president i've loved your family when you call i obey i answer i've never disrespected or disregarded you i've always loved you prayed for you and blessed you but behold from this day take it from this altar tables are turning thank you kuna jambo ambalo ningependa tulielewe hapa kwamba hamna mtu yote ambaye amewashikana na deputy president wa inchi ya Kenya akafaulu. Tuangalie wakati ambapo William Ruto alikuwa deputy president wake Uhuru Kenyatta. Kuna, kuna baadhi ya watu ambao walikuwa wameshikana nao ilifika wakati yao watu wakatemwa nje wakatolewa kwenye government, kwenye serikali. Sasa hii pia ya Margaret kuna wakati ya Margaret mwenyewe alikuwa anasema kwamba kuna wakati ambapo au watu wenyewe walikuja kubomoa kanisa lake ikabidi wazungumze na Rigathi Gashagwa wao watu wakaacha kubomoa kanisa. So inamaanisha kuwa tayari Margaret Wanjiru walikuwa shaanza kushikana na Rigathi Gashagwa. Na mjua Rigathi Gashagwa hata umia mtu mwenyewe sasa na umia sasa ni Margaret Wanjiru. So in short hakuna mtu yote ambaye amewahi shikana na deputy president wa inchi ya Kenya mambo yake yakaenda sawa. Hiyo lazima tuelewe. Na mambo ambayo e, re, we, e, Margaret Wanjiru akitaka kufaulu sana anafaa kuyafanya. Jambo la kwanza ambalo anafaa kukifanya ni ajaribu juu chini kadi ya uwezo wake akuwe kitu kimoja na William Ruto kwa sababu alimkampenia sana. Anasema kwamba William Ruto ni mchapakazi. E, sasa mchapakazi amewabadilisha. Mchapakazi sasa mchapakazi amewabadilika. 
na wali wali wali, wali, wali kabisa waliambiwa kwamba the government this government that you're supporting will come after you orengo alisema vizuri kuwa this government eats his own people and it will come after you sooner or later na tayari ashaanza kuenda kwa watu wake kwa nini serikali imeanza kutarget makanisa sasa niuliza hilo swali jana lakini itabidi tena leo niulize kwa nini e, serikali imeanza kutarget makanisa sana kwanza ambalo ningependa tulizungumzie ni kwamba what is really happening with William Ruto kiria kuwa Ruto ana lengo la bado kwenda kulitumia kanisa 2027 e, kuania kiti cha urais kwa sababu e, kwa maoni yangu mimi naona kuwa hana haja nalo kwa sababu E, 2022 alikuwa na kampeni hivi kwa sababu Raila mwenyewe alikuwa kwenye kura na ili atafute njia ya kupigana na Raila ili ya win ili ya win Raila over the people was that uh, lazima angeangalia kile kitu ambacho Raila anakipinga na huo wakati nakumbuka mama Aida akisema kwamba kwamba makanisa kuna baadhi ya vibanda ambavyo lazima bifungwe. Na mimi najua alikuwa na sababu zake kwa nini alikuwa anasema hivi kwa sababu juzi tumeona watu kama kina Joana mambo ambayo wanayafanya. Eh, ayo ni makanisa madogo madogo alifa kufungwa lakini alizungu, wakati alikuwa anazungumza watu waliona ni kuwa ana porojo zake ama ana lengo lake. So swali langu ni wafikiria kuwa Ruto bado ako na lengo la kutumia kanisa eh, kuania kiti cha uraisi coming 2027 automatically Raila atakuwa kwenye debe so kwa nini aende kwa kanisa atatumia atatumia nini kupiga mwenza atatumia nini kutoka kwa kanisa kupiga uh, mwingine hiyo ni jambo la kwanza swali la kwanza tu hilo ni swali la kwanza kwa iwapo iwapo Raila atakuwa kwenye debe itabidi Raila itabidi Ruto angalie strategi nyingine ya kutumia eh, itabidi Ruto atafutie strategi nyingine ya kutumia ya kuwin eh, trust ya watu ama ya kuwin ya kuwin trust ya watu kwa sababu eh, kitambo hiyo hiyo wale mikwambia alikuwa na win trust ya watu kwa kutumia eh, mambo na campaign mambo na mambo na christianity mambo na kukuwa wa mama mara kuna watu ambao wapendi serika wapendi Mungu na hii government yetu ni ya Mungu na kuna wengine pia wanapenda Mungu so hapo ndio kulikuwa na tofauti chelewa hapo ndio kulikuwa na utofauti. Ukijaribu kuangalia angalia kuna ukijaribu kuangalia hata na wewe utakuja kunapata kwamba baadhi ya makanisa ambayo yanakuwa affected ni ya watu wenye wanatoka Mount Kenya. Juzi nakumbuka juzi eh, wakati kulikuwa na hii mkutano ya hawa hii kanisa la la jeshi la wokovu ya eh, jeshi la wokovu walikuwa kule state house William Ruto kawapa shilingi milioni hamsini. Kwa nini aliwapa shilingi milioni hamsini? Mimi kwa maana yangu nilikuwa nafikiria kuwa aliwapa shilingi milioni hamsini kwa sababu ukiangalia the origin na pale ambapo eh, ika, ili kanisa la jeshi la wokovu liko sana limeenea sana ni kule upande wa western na tunajua lengo la William Ruto na watu wa western ni gani anataka kuwavutia vutia ili wakati ukifika iwe ya kwamba tayari ashaoingiza box ili jambo akisema akitaja tu jambo moja hivi na linafanyika so mtazamaji hiyo ni kwa maoni yangu tu na ningependa nikuachie nafasi hata na wewe kwa comment section uniambie maoni yako ni gani na ikiwa ni mara kwanza ambayo tunakutana na obochukwe sekunde yako moja mazako mbili wende kwa subscription area ufinye subscribe button like na ushare na kisha mambo itakuwa sawa na ningependa tukutane kwa video ambayo inafuata mimi wako bonfesso wino